All right, let's talk about what it means to be periodic. And uh, this is on page 34 in your text, and we'll go over it uh, in a little bit more detail um, in section 1.6. So here's the circle, and of course start at zero, go in the positive direction. And if I go some arc length t, let's just sketch that a minute, some arc length t right there, t, then I know that I've got the functional values cosine t and sine t. And let's just take sine t and let's use that as our example here. So I'm just going to say I've got sine t and we're just going to say it's some value, we'll just call it a. Okay. Well then I know that I can also, if I started at zero and I went all the way around, and pass zero and keep going, then I would I could end up right back at that same point. And so now I know that I would have let's change back to a different color here, that I want the sine of t, but it's t plus two pi, because I went two times around. But I'm still at the same spot and so I know the sine value is going to be the same. And then what if I went around more than that. So t plus 2 pi, and I went around again, so I got another 2 pi. I won't draw that on a sketch, but um, you could visualize that. I'm back where I started again, so the value, the sign, the functional value is the same. And I could go around again. So I could go t plus 2 pi, plus 2 pi, plus 2 pi, and of course the value of that would be the same. And I could keep doing that indefinitely. So let's kind of sum that up what that would look like. That's my dot dot dot, but vertical. That's the same as the sine when we've got t. And then how do I, how would I make kind of a shortcut out of this plus 2 pi plus 2 pi plus 2 pi stuff here. Okay, So it's going to be 2 pi but times k, where k, let's keep it here. k, this is how your book does it, is an element, that's, that's a big goofy looking e, um, in math terms that means that's an element of the set, dot dot dot, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, dot dot dot, in other words it's an integer can be any of those integers, any integer. So all I would do is put in here um, 3 and 4 and 5 and negative 2 and negative 1. I can put in whatever k I want to denote how many times I've gone around the circle. And I can go around the circle in the positive direction and the negative direction. And of course this is the same as a. So our conclusion here, okay, conclusion, is the sine of t is equal to the sine of t plus k to pi. And that's an example of something being periodic. And again, we'll talk about more of that in uh, chapter or section 1-6 coming up.